Hello and welcome to a very curious place. Yes, it is that time again. We are trying our the next in our series of four. I thought I had five, but apparently it was four. Raz Energy flavors. This one today is a Galaxy Burst. And it is dripping condensation everywhere. Galaxy Burst. And let's see, it is zero calories. Zero everything except for sodium, 50 milligrams, potassium, 55 milligrams, and that is it. Um, so yeah, let's see, it does not actually say what flavor it is. The, the other one didn't either, so let's see. Ooh, the steam, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it smells like candy. It does, it smells like candy. What candy is that though? I've got condensation everywhere. I'm, I'm so glad. <coughs> Which, I mean, it's a warm day, so that's nice. I'm, I can't complain. Hi. Put it on my face. Sweet, sweet tarts? Sweet tarts. I think it reminds me of sweet tarts. I think it does. You know the little hard candy things that are like chalky? I freaking love those things. If left to my own devices with a whole bunch of them, I will eat until I get sick. Which is why I don't buy them. So. Mm. It tastes like sweet tarts too. That's weird, but cool. Um, the one I tried last time is Voodoo. It is up on the Instagram channel right right now. You want to go take a look at it. Electrolytes, BCAA aminos, no crash, zero sugar. Um, <clears throat> rapid hydration. I don't know what any of that means. Um, <clears throat> It does have plenty of um, healthy adults, 18 years or older, are the only ones supposed to consume this. Yeah. We'll see. Um, I will say, and this is kind of my update for the voodoo. I did, um, I did, didn't think I would finish the can of voodoo, but I actually did. I finished it. Um, and I thought that if it got warm, it would be like really nasty, but it wasn't. It, oddly enough, seems like it tasted better to me when it was warm. And that's unusual for most stuff that, you know, you get, it doesn't taste good warm, it tastes better cold. Um, but you know, it did, it got, I, I drank the whole thing. Now. I didn't notice any like bad side effects. Um, I didn't get jittery. Um, I didn't have a crash. I did feel a bit nauseous um, and a little bit just off later in the day, but I think that was possibly my fault. I don't normally eat a lot um, because I have been on a weird diet, um, trying to get myself off my plateau. <laughs> Um, that I have landed on and can't get off of. Um, so I have been doing like mainly liquids and I've been doing intermittent fasting. And so that day that I drank the voodoo, I had had a nectarine <laughs> and a shake and that was it. So I think that by the time I went in after I finished it, because I drank on it over a few hours, um, I think that by the time I finished it and got in, I think my blood sugar had dropped because I hadn't eaten much. And I think with that caffeine burst on top of it, it probably, you know, it, it wasn't a good thing. So a suggestion would be make sure you're eating healthy if you're drinking drinks like this. Um, you don't want your blood sugar to drop. Um, she says laughingly when she ate, what did I eat for breakfast? I don't, 
I ate a shake for breakfast and a piece of pecan pie. Um, <laughs> no, that's not true. I ate a bagel and a small piece of pecan pie. I didn't have a shake. Um, shake was for lunch. So, um, so I say that as a suggestion because, you know, it's one of those do as I, I suggest not as I do because you don't want to do what I do. Um, it will probably make me feel like crap later too. Um, just for the simple fact that I'm not eating correctly, but I'm going to try and be a little bit more cautious, have an extra shake and hopefully, you know, that it'll work out. Um, it could have also just been an off day. I don't know. I, I can't I can't say for sure what it was. Um, I don't think it was the drink though. I think it was probably me not eating right um, and not eating what I should have on that day. Um, but they were right. There was no crash. There was no jitters. Um, any, there was nothing like that. So I, I can't fault them on that. They were right there. I, and if I was going to, if it was going to happen, I probably would have had it because I'm not used to these at all. Um, before the voodoo version, um, I had never really had a energy drink before. Um, the closest I had gotten is the Starbucks extreme caffeine ones in the can. Um, and those are just because, you know, coffee is life. Um, <laughs> but, um, these type of things, the Red Bull, I, I don't, I don't drink those. My ex-sister-in-law basically, um, she basically just is, I, I think at this point her blood is like probably 50% Red Bull. Um, she drinks that much. So, and she doesn't seem to function well without them. Um, so, but I didn't have a crash. Um, in fact, oddly enough, that night when I did was able to go to sleep because I have insomnia, but when I did actually go to sleep, I actually slept fine. So, um, there wasn't a crash. There's a lot of wind. So there wasn't a crash, jitters, anything like that. But please remember to eat responsibly and take care of yourself. Um, you know, make sure you eat actual food when you're drinking these. Um, that's the healthy way to deal with it. Um, but actually, I will say that for my second try, um, I actually like them. I didn't think I would. Now, these are not drinks that I would, that's grace. Um, these are not drinks that I would normally just go out and purchase. Um, I just, I, I'm just not that type of person. If I'm going to buy a drink outside, it's going to be maybe a Coke or a Dr. Pepper or Starbucks and anything coffee. Um, I, I may have a little bit of a coffee problem. Um, but, um, other than that, green tea. So, um, these aren't something that I would normally buy, but I'm not upset about having them because I ran out of green tea today. So, um, this isn't repla re to replace my green tea right now. So, um, I, I would, if they were the only things, you know, if, if I was out and I was really feeling drugged down, you know, tired and everything, I would probably buy one of these. They don't taste bad. You do get a very artificial sweetener taste off of them, but that's just to be expected. I mean, you have to expect that when you're dealing with something that is no sugar. Okay. You, you're just going to have to do, understand that that is part of it. Um, but honestly, um, I, I, I actually like it. I mean, it does, it reminds me of sweet tarts. It smells like sweet tarts. Or that um, Lickamade, isn't, I think is what it was, is the um, something they had when I was really, really young. Um, I think they still have it now. I think you can get it like at the, the retro candy places. And uh, what it was is uh, this hard candy stick. <laughs> Sounds terrible. And you dipped the hard, you licked the hard candy stick and then you dipped it in the powder and licked the powder off. So basically it was just like pure sugar. Um, so it reminds me of Lick'em Sticks and Sweet Tarts. It actually, it smells really good. It's got a little bit of a tart flavor, which if you've had the Sweet Tarts, obviously, you know, they're, they're a little bit tart. <clears throat> and it does have the artificial sweetener. But you know what? For something that has no calories, you're not going to get around that. It's just part of it. You're just, 
if you drink anything diet, it's going to have an artificial sweetener taste to it. I like it. I didn't think I would. Now, we have two more in the series after this. We have a Phantom Frost and a Sour Gummy Bears. Or Sour Gummy Worms. Sour Gummy something. Um, and we're holding off the Sour Gummies till the very last because I'm not a fan of anything sour. I'm not a fan of sour candy. So, um... On that note, though, I am going to give the Raz Energy Galaxy Burst Zero Sugar Energy Drink two thumbs up, which the other thumb is holding the can, but it's up. Uh, really am liking these so far. Really surprised. I didn't think I would. And I'm really kind of shocked. Um, really am liking them. If you like energy drinks, I really suggest you give them a shot and try them out. Grace is wandering around. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments. As always, from myself, Heather, and Grace, who is, I don't know, she's over there doing something, and um, a very curious place. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, um, stay sane, and stay at home if you, obviously, if you can. If you can, stay home. And on that note, much love. And as always, stay strange. Sweeties.